Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is a new series called Hype Beast, pronounced Hype Beast, uh, in which, uh, in a very brief amount of time, once a week, I promote my various Indiegogo. So last night, the crew, the gang, the boys, were roasting the hell out of me again for my promotional video for Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar. Basically saying this stuff needs to be one minute, two minute, tops but I like to talk I like to ramble I like to talk about stuff like in my last video I was talking about Steve Jeppy Br'er Rabbiting the comic book industry and then I forgot to make this other point that with him Br'er Rabbiting and sitting out for a couple months he allows some competitors to spend a ton of money starting up a distribution network and then it's probably just gonna flop as soon as he goes back so yeah I but anyway hype boost so anyway, it's a uh, May 2nd, 3rd, whatever, it's Sunday. So this is this weekend's, I'll probably do one episode of Hype Boost every week. So right now I just launched Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar. By the time this video uploads tonight, it'll probably be at 50,000. We crossed uh, 1,000 backers. What is uh, Grand Bazaar about? Because people keep saying, dude, you either take 20 minutes to describe it or you just say the name and show the cover. So Grand Bazaar is the origin of the team. About 10 years ago in Afghanistan. Uh, so uh, what happens is Silkworm ends up beefing with, he's a, he's basically a merc, and he ends up beefing with some of the, the soldiers uh, on the base at Kandahar. Then uh, they end up getting uh, involved in this sort of supernatural event. They're basically written off as dead. And then uh, since Silkworm's you know, still a good guy. He goes to rescue him single-handedly. He ends up in this supernatural uh, place called the Grand Bazaar, and all the other members of the uh, what will become the Jawbreakers are there. So uh, it's awesome. Uh, uh, Kyle Ritter cover, Aaron Alfici uh, interior art. So oh, two minutes. Okay, so I got time. Pandemic. Pandemic is out, uh, or it's on in demand. Um, it, uh, it's about a young woman who, you know, in these trying times, she's got no money. You know, she's got to pay New York City rent on this little dribble drabble of a freaking uh, $1,200 that she's got no money for anything. So she goes, she goes to, she, she goes to rob some empty offices. What she ends up doing is accidentally stumbling upon what is essentially a meeting of the Illuminati. She learns way too much about what's going on on in the current pandemic she has to run for her life and then uh the interesting thing is this actually ties into an earlier story idea i talked about like i think i talked about this back in my new york city apartment uh three years ago so that's very exciting look at this three minutes in what what's left expendables go to hell it's all done except for the uh like one page has to be colored then all the art is done the story is the expendables yes the one from the movies they, uh, they end up getting taken out by a mortar round. They got bunched up. What, what does your staff sergeant always tell you? Don't bunch up. They bunched up, they got taken out by one mortar round, and they're in hell. And it's not a picnic. There's a battle in hell. They end up getting recruited for uh, one side, and it's freaking awesome. Chuck Dixon uh, and uh, Sylvester Stallone come up with a story. Me and Chuck uh, finished a script. You got Graham Nolan, the co-creator of Bane, writing it awesome art you got butch geist who's drawn freaking everything everyone always says he's worked for everyone why do you always mention him just as like a doctor strange artist that was like the first time I, I knew him from iron man but he got he got into like the national news for there was this uh amy grant uh lawsuit so anyway hype beast go check it out it's amazing if you if you backed iron sights two psychos you should be getting it this week people were already getting it uh thursday friday and uh saturday in the mail can't wait for you to hear about it uh besides that what else what else i got a sci-fi impossible stars that's gonna launch next week i got merch yeah i'm keeping an eye on the time i got merch on jawbreakers uh grand bazaar i got this devil dog cloth mask that's topical devil dog dog tags uh that's collectible oh boy 15 minutes so anyway thanks for everything links are in the description and i'll have one episode of hype beast every weekend peace